Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're in the not so creepy basement in the cottage. I'm in the workroom and I want to solve a little problem. I've gotten a hold of some lights from a friend. Um, I got some that are smart, some that are dumb. I might do the smart one some other day. Today I want to put in a dumb one. Uh, the workroom, well, you know, there's some dark spots. So let, let me let me turn this around and uh, give you a, I don't know, it's going to be hard to tell. Wait, let me turn this around. Well, here's the workroom. And I have a bunch of lights over the workbench. Over this part of the room, it's nice. Got the saw, the, well, the man killer. That works as a saw. I have a place to seat my butt. But, you go from the bright lights over here where you're working, and you look over there, there's one bulb up in the ceiling there. That, even though it looks okay-ish in the camera probably, it's really dark over there. And that's where all the plumbing and stuff is. And then over here, there's another workbench. And there's another light right there. But this other workbench, when you want to work here, you know, that's okay. But there are times I got to work back there, and it's just dark. I'm working on the uh, water heater and all that stuff, and I got to add lights, and it's really annoying. So, I have a dumb light. This is just a light that goes on the ceiling. Got this at a box store for like a buck or two. Um, I think that's where this one came from. I don't know, all of a sudden it showed up, my wife handed it to me. So, it's got this kind of interface. We're going to hang that up. And we're going to hang it up in a non-permanent fashion. Using this box, this extension cord, this lamp holder, and this chain. So let's get on that. All right, so I'm going to start out by working on this over the bench now. The way I plan on doing this is, this is a string pole, and you pull this and the light comes on. Right, so I'm going to use this switch to actually control both lights. The other light will have also a string, which I can just kind of disable it. So when I want to work over in the corner, I'll turn this on, turn that on, and that'll be fine. The uh, internals of this, so all I want to have to do is open up this, take this apart, add a drag link on it, and put the drag link over to here somewhere, uh, maybe here somewhere, something like this, kind of ish. And I'm just going to put the light here, and that should give me enough light for this corner. Oh, first I'm going to take this light down. Dandelion pullers work for more than just pulling dandelions. So, this is the light I pulled down from there. This light, I think in a previous video, you'll see me put these LEDs in here. I need to get in here, drill a hole in here, make a place for the uh, wire to come out. And I'm going to use this extension cord as the wire. I'm not going to use either end. So I'm going to cut the wire off. But I'm going to have to drill a hole kind of this size, feed it in there, tap it off of where the lights come from so that when I pull this chain, it's going to enable this power.
Okay. Got this tweaked around backwards. Common, common, common. Cord into the switch, switch out. So I need to put one wire on here and one wire on here. But I also need to drill a hole. And if I look here at the end, I got a big space here, right? I don't have a knockout, but I got a place to put a cord. So we're going to drill a hole in the end where this will line up to it. And then I need some kind of a grommet for it. So I take this, make it plenty, plenty long. Take that. This is my cord. Yes, I know both ends are here. So, who knows, might need that someday. Very, very unsharp. All right. Put it in the drawer. So, give myself a good couple inches of space. Just to be very careful here to cut just the white. This should come off now. For a smaller wire, that'll work as a good insulation too. So I got this. Now I need to drill a hole in here. Obviously, for permanent wiring, using an extension cord cut off is not a great idea. However, this is a plug in appliance. So, not as bad. Probably not recommended, but you know, don't do as I do, do the right thing. Yep. So that's going to work. Need a couple of tie wraps. Bring the cord up. Now, previously, these were meant for halogens, so they would get hot. I'm not so worried about that now, because they're not going to get hot. But that's probably another reason why this isn't a great idea. And you should never do as I do.
Now, you're probably going to ask, are you sure a little upholstering on this is going to take care of that? And my answer is, this was designed for 250 watt halogens. And right now I have two 20 watt LEDs. Even if they're 50 watt LEDs, I don't think so, but maybe. And the other one's 50 watts. It all adds up to maybe what one of these did before. So that switch should have plenty of capacity to handle this. This doesn't feel like it's doing what it ought to. Okay, now it's tight. So I have this cord connect that's going to the other light connected to where these lights are connected to. Except for the ground. Okay, connected. And I just gotta wiggle this around come up into the hole like so. Star washer. Castle nut. Let's do some measurements over here. Oh, I know that light comes from about here. So let's just hook right there. Kind of ish close. Maybe. Let's put this light in that range. That's eight feet. Six, eight. Maybe eight and a half. And this is how far over we're going to run that. And then if I need an appliance cord for something, I'll have this in the drawer. Or I want to make a short extension. Or I'll whatever. So this is going to connect the box. And I picked this box not because of any particular shape, but it was left over from something else. It's sitting up here. And it had a connector. Now, not the right one, obviously. But it had a connector. So, this is going to come through here. And then this is going to mount on there. And this is going to mount on the ceiling. So, this does not clamp properly, so I need, so I got, it's not going to cut it, but I need to make it so it don't come in and out. So, let's find a something. All right, well, I got it pretty far. It's not as far as I'd like, but as far as I'm going to get, I believe. I lubed it up, I could probably get it farther, but that's it. I'm going to have some taper on this side because I don't have a double protection here. This can come back here. And then we will tie wrap that. not going to mount this on here yet and I'm going to do that when I'm up, up because I want to put a screw in through here to hold this up to the ceiling so
My first move was to hang the light back up. So now, I have the cord to plug the light in, which I'm not going to do yet. And I have the second cord to run over there. Okay, here we go. Another drill. Some threads, it's in there ish. I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm gonna put some tape in there. go that's in there all right this just screws in this plugs into that and then that needs to hang somehow some way All right, Let's see what we got. Light and light. I'm over here. Turn this off if we don't need it. Put the turn on, and all of a sudden, I can work on stuff. Awesome, right? Let's go back over here and look at the difference. This is our view from before. And maybe I'll try to do a before after shot, I don't know, but that certainly is nicer than it was. And for most of the time, when you come in here and turn on the lights, I'm gonna have this one just normally off, because I don't always have to work back there, just when something's wrong, really. And this bench I only work on when I'm working on it. So normally this is off, but I can, you know, work on this and stuff, and then if I want to work over there, then I just pull the other chain too. Well, under the light, the bright light of the new light, that's my video for today. Thumbs up, because I think I did a good job. Yeah, you know, for cabin in the woods-ish kind of place. Here once in a while. Limited pieces. 20 miles to the hardware store. That's what you get. So, there you go. Use up what you have. 
recycle, reuse. Thumbs up to that. Thumbs up to the video if you would. I'd appreciate that. All the subscribes and the UTV stuff, YouTube stuff, all that, that'd be great. If you have any suggestions for my workroom or have any questions about what you see laying around here, let me know. We have more work to do over here. As you can see, that's the uh, uh, servo control for the water heater. Still working on that. This is the uh, uh, control to tell me when this thing is on or off. That needs work. So we got work to do. Really hope I get that done this, uh, this month when I'm here. Uh, so keep watching for that. It's going to happen sometime. As it is, thanks. Uh, glad you're here. And next time, we'll do something else. And remember, always bring light to dark places because you'll never know what you find. Bye.